outdoor Val throwing down the challenge tonight. Yes. Do you think you have the answer to his question? Yeah, it's what it's the driest place on earth. Yes, that's what we're looking for, the driest place on earth. Right. Okay, um, I'm going to let you handle and this. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is the Antarctic or or the Arctic, which... Anyhow. South or north? <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, the Arctic's know. north, Antarctic is south. A of the driest place is going to be... Yeah, it's where they don't get any rain at all, right? Uh, that, that, would, that would be true. Michelle, would you agree that this is probably the case? I, I yeah. no. <laughs> Just to be well, difficult. Then let's difficult. take a look and <laughs> be difficult. I like that. Oh, here's the map. Here's the map of the world. Well, it's a little bit disputed depending on what you're looking for. So let's take a look at the numbers here to see what's going on. Uh, this is South America. So this is where uh, one particular website says, yes, this is the driest place. We're talking about this town right here. We'll take a closer inspection here. As far as cities go, Arica would be the driest city on the globe as far as a town or a city goes. And precipitation here is... Uh, not much at all, just a few hundredths of an inch is really all we're talking about. But you go a little further to the south here along the coast of Chile, we're talking about these mountains that come up. The desert here, this At At uh, Atacama Desert, I think I'll get it right in here. Uh, this is 10,000 feet above sea level, and it is so dry because it's a huge ridge of high pressure. There's cool water offshore. There's just no way to get moisture. The mountains bringing more. When you have wind coming from the east, it dries into this desert here, and so we're talking about the driest place on the globe. Kind of show you a picture of what it looks like in here. This is it right here, 10,670 feet. Some parts of this desert get no rain at all, and of course that would make it dry. It is so dry, the cactus won't even grow here. And if you put metal out here, it won't oxidize. It will not rust because there's no moisture. And you could take meat and put it on that rock and leave it out there for days, and it would not spoil because there's no moisture to make the meat spoil. I We're talking. See the Mars rover going across there. And very good observation, Roland. He says he expects to see the Mars rover go across. This, this is the closest uh, analogy to what the surface of Mars looks like on the planet. So that's considered the driest place. However, and this, by the way, is the view. If you look towards the south here, towards the water, there's plenty of water down here. Look at the cactus growing as you come up the mountains. When you get to the desert, there's no cactus. Other sites say that Antarctica talking the South Pole would be the driest location. You got some of these places here that are very high, no precipitation coming in, and hasn't rained or snowed, of course, in some say 20 million years. When you look back at the records, this is the new weather station here at the South Pole, at least in 2005 anyway. That is one cold location to work. So, hey, not bad there with your guesses. So it's either South America <laughs> or you could even say Antarctica. Roland, you've made up for a few misses in the past. <laughs> a few misses. Thank you for pointing that, that out. That well. makes up for all of them. It really <laughs> does. That's excellent work. Interesting. I, I like those pictures of Chile, too. Yeah. That's yeah, cool. It looks, it looks like Mars. Yes. Yeah, it does. Thanks. You bet. All right, stop me if you've heard this before, but.